Hey, I'm Ron Rodos from KeyboardImprov.com and welcome to the 48th installment of my journey through the real book. Just putting these out one by one, I'm up to the 48th tune, which is but beautiful. And uh, this is a great ballad. And it, um, it's very close to my heart because in 1995, I worked on a Broadway show called Swinging on a Star. And we were nominated uh, for a Tony Award for Best Musical. And uh, it, was my, it was the first Broadway show I did. So it was really, you know, my entry into that world. And I was the associate conductor. And what I did was I played keyboards, synth, like, you know, string stuff and, and uh, little, you know, different sound effects and different uh, filler instruments, um, whatever I wanted, really. I created the part um, on the synthesizer keyboard. And then um, when the conductor pianist, Barry Levitt, couldn't make a particular show, I would slide over and conduct it from the grand piano on stage. And uh, that was really a thrilling experience for me. I got to do some um, uh, musical arrangements, orchestrations, one dance arrangement. It was, it was a really wonderful experience. And one of my favorite parts of the show was But Beautiful, because it was right near the end. And the, the end was like this, sort of like a, like almost like a dinner theater kind of um, set up, or not, not dinner theater, like a, like a very elegant, I don't know what ballroom, the, the actors were dressed up in um, tuxedos and the actresses wore these beautiful designer gowns, I think it was Oscar de la Renta, beautiful things. And the actress who sang this uh, song, Terry Burrell, is just one of the wonderful um, Broadway actresses, you know, she's just, just stunning, wonderful person, hi Terry if you're watching this, um, you know, uh, sings so beautiful and she can go from jazz to Broadway and pop, she can do anything. And so I would be at the piano, sort of conducting, leading the band, and she was sitting right on the piano and you know, we're just, you know, I'm playing, just looking up and she's singing this beautiful music and it was right near the end of the show where sort of we're relaxed and there's like five ballads in a row and it was one of the highlights of my performing career. So thank you, Terry. And, um, uh, it's just great. So um, what I like to do is just kind of play the song like we did it, but since this is a, a jazz uh, video series, I'm going to get a little more jazzy than I probably would have playing Phil's behind her at that time. So hope you enjoy this. Um, I'm going to start with an intro that's uh, maybe similar to how we did it.
I just love playing a tune like that, you know, and it just really brought me back to those days when I was performing, you know, on Swing on a Star and Terry Braille sitting on the, the piano singing and just, just providing this, this wall, this, not a wall of sound, more like a cloud of sound. You don't have to play a lot if you have that sort of, that, that vibrancy, that, that sort of relaxed energy, so, sort of like just these, these powder puffs, these things supporting the melody, whether somebody else is singing it or you're playing it on piano. So um, try that on this tune or Misty or any other great ballads. Um, have fun. Good luck with your playing. Thanks for being here. Next week we'll do Herbie Hancock's Butterfly, something completely different. And uh, if you're interested in uh, jazz piano lessons, check me out at keyboardimprov.com. You can do my video course or Skype, whatever uh, you need for me to help you with. I'd love to take, uh, help you take your playing to the next level, and uh, thanks for being here. Have a great week.